Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to London. And it's raining again. Just wondering when it's going to actually be spring. Because that would be great! Right, guys, what's good? What's going on? Welcome back to another video and welcome to episode three of our reactions to Heartstopper one year later. Now, as always, before we get into today's video, guys, I've got to give a huge shout out to the incredible people over on Patreon. Patreon is the only place that you can watch all of these videos completely unedited. That is Heartstopper, that's Young Royals, that is Scarm, that is Looking, that is Heartstopper one year later. They're all over there on Patreon. It's the most amazing community. Plus there's tons of Patreon exclusive content to reacting to interviews and all kinds of other stuff so i would love for more people to come and join us over there and the links for that are in the description below right heart stopper episode two as i said is probably my favorite episode if not definitely my favorite episode so let's jump on into episode three and see what else we picked up because i feel like in episode two more so than episode one i picked up on like a couple of different bits that i hadn't noticed or like that i had slightly new perspective on so yeah i'm just excited to get back into episode three and get a, a little feel for like what's going on so let's get these airpods in right let's jump on in am i connected yes i love this song oh yeah of course the last thing was the am i gay moment he's got like so many tabs open as well like just overwhelming overwhelming himself with different information god i remember getting myself into those deep dark holes That lyric makes feel like some other version of me. Hi. Do you want to go to Harry's party with me? Oh, I, I don't know. It doesn't really sound like my sort of thing. Please come. I want you to be there. What am I doing? <sighs> Sorry to pause this moment for a drink. I was like, oh, I'm a little bit thirsty. I mean, this is probably going to do nothing for that, but it tastes delicious either way. <laughs> Oh, Charlie, you bloody cute little bugger, you. My childhood would have been very different if group chats were a thing. Like, this generation don't know how good they've got it. I don't know how I make contact with them while we had MSN. Is MSN still a thing? Whoa, I just showed my age. Is MSN still a thing? Does anyone know? That was why. You'd go to school all day, spend all day with your friends, and then go home and sit on Insta messaging and chat on the Insta messaging. So, it was so wild. Love the little rainbow in the back of towels, yeah, there. Love that. I also love those like Polaroids in the back as well. A little smile. It looks so cute in a little shirt. When I was at school, like these moments always used to like panic the hell out of me, like turning up somewhere without knowing anyone. Oh, I just remembered. I was gonna wear my little Nick Nelson outfit while filming this episode. Damn it. I've got like some uh, like creamy kind of colored chinos like his are there. I was gonna wear a white t-shirt and then I've got like this and this shirt. I was gonna wear this shirt over the top of it and I was gonna be like my little Nick Nelson outfit. Damn it! Oh, I'll, I'll wear it for another episode as a, a homage to the Kiss episode. Damn, I just saw him then and I just remembered. Damn. I thought it was gonna be so cute. Let's go straight in his pockets. There they are. See, like, you can see his shirt there. It's not the same, but it's kind of similar. It's gonna be so good. Guys, I was trying to do something thoughtful for you and I messed it up. I'm sorry. That's such a good color on Joe, that shirt. Oh, of course, because he has the moment with Ben. Charlie's changing. I forgot about that. Well, I don't Nick. think he's there to see Harry, to be honest. Nick's stolen him. I think that's a little bit dramatic. I love that Elle's like always the voice of reason. Sorry, I'm really uncomfortable. I'm looking for a new place to live. I need to find a room that actually has like sufficient space to film YouTube videos. Sorry, important text. Um, a lumbar support. That's kind of what I was looking for. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? Yeah, I love that L is like always a voice of reason. Like Tao, I feel like is most of the time, apart from here, some valid points towards the end of the season. But most of the time, like a little bit of an unreasonable voice. But I feel like Elle always just like brings him back to like grounding. Like actually you're being a bit ridiculous. I love that about her. 
feel that way. <laughs> it's fine. I don't feel that way about you either. All of this could have been avoided if I just... What? Told everyone I was a lesbian. Yeah, but, um... I guess that's not something you'd really want to lie about. It wouldn't be a lie. I love that! That's my oh, favourite, yeah. that's my favourite line of Tara's. And the way that she delivers it is just, wanna be a lie. So good. You actually are. That's my girlfriend over there. We've mostly been keeping it quiet. Yeah. So why, why are you telling me? Me and Darcy have been talking and honestly, we feel like we don't need to keep it that quiet anymore. You mean like come out? Not necessarily. Um, we don't want to make a big announcement or anything, but maybe just not hide so much. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, I've only ever met one openly gay person before. Do you know Charlie Spring? Yeah, I know Charlie Spring. Uh, are, are you friends? Yeah, yeah, we sit next to each other in the form. He's probably, yeah, he probably is my... That's in I've never really thought about it before, but I don't know if, if anyone else in, in England had the same thing. Like, we never called it form at my school. We called it tutor groups. Just a little, a little British-ism there. So, if there's any other Brits that are watching this, like, do you call it form? Or did you call it, like, tutor? I don't know. Weird. Anyway. They all look so good. It's a very tight t-shirt he's got. Oh, it looks amazing, but... You gotta find Charlie. Why do you even hang out? He's my friend. But why? Do you feel sorry for him because he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nah, wait, wait. Do you think he has a crush on you? God, how sick. Sad. That's homophobic, Harry. And I really don't mm. like you. Happy birthday. Oh, always the way, isn't it? Like how like I don't feel like I need to re-comment on like how gross Harry is. Like we all know that at this point. But like it's always amazing how like how much confidence he has until he's called out on what he knows he's doing and then he tries to like backtrack on it. It's fascinating how fucking ridiculous homophobes are. Charlie. I've just thought there's something quite meta about this whole situation and how Harry is as a consistently opposing and threatening figure in, in their relationship and friendship and their life. But it's Harry's party that brings them together properly for the first time. There's something very meta about that and I love it. I'm sorry about what happened. Do not touch me! Go on, Charlie. Put him in his place. He deserves it. Love this moment. We've got a little golden retriever. Love the LGBT flag in the background. And Nick just thinking it's the most wonderful thing in the world. There he is, a little child. Hi, you left? Sorry, I, I felt like I was in the way. And your year 11 friends are kind of intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to hang out with those guys anymore. I'd rather hang out with you anyway. Oh, it's still so wholesome. Oh, I just ran into Ben. Ben? Yeah. I mean, I dealt with it. He tried to, like, apologise for what happened, but I pushed him into a wall and <laughs> told him to go away. I think he got the message this time. <laughs> I'm so proud. Shut up. It's kind of noisy in here, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go somewhere quieter again? Okay. I love it! Like, I wonder if... I want to know, like, what his intentions were there. Like, did he say that because he wanted to... I don't know. I don't know. Is there something more there? Was he, like, now is the moment where I'm going to act on these impulses I've been having? Or, I don't know. I just love it. So, was Harry being serious? Do you like Tara? What? No. No, definitely not. I love this scene. Uh, so you don't have a crush on anyone at the moment? Well, I didn't say that. Oh. This, uh, the, oh, what will always stick with me about this scene is that beautiful, tentative, careful stepping over each other of this scene. It's like so beautifully woven, like neither one of them wants to push it too far, but they both want to push it. So they're just with each line, just edging over the top of the other one. Just like, like one, one domino at a time is just being pushed over. I just absolutely love it. It's so well written. What's she like then? Like that, like just a little bit. You're just going to assume they're a she. Just a little bit more. Are they? so so good are they not a girl and charlie in that moment of like oh my god is everything that i've been feeling up to this point actually real like is this actually happening and then nick obviously that panic on his face is like they've been pushing it this far and now like oh shit have i just taken it too far oh but i'm gonna do it anyway um so charlie rephrases would you go out with someone who wasn't a girl I think as well, like that moment for him, like up to there, it maybe has all felt like a bit of a fantasy in his head. But hearing that from Nick has like almost given him like a newfound confidence there. Like you see like a real shift in his dynamic and he now is like honing in on like this subject. I don't know. Maybe. And this is obviously the first time Nick's ever said any of this out loud. Oh, that sound design. Just a little rubber squeak. Would you kiss someone who wasn't a girl? 
I don't know. And the way that the this is shot, like it's purposely been shot handheld, so that it though it's not coming directly from the perspective of like Charlie or from Nick, it kind of feels like you're experiencing it through them because of that handheld moment. So well thought out in terms of cinematography, like that decision to do it that way is just absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love it so much. Would you kiss me? The sheer panic and like fear on his face right now. Yeah. I can't remember if I said it in the first episode or not. I absolutely adore, and I know it comes a few times like in these moments, Nick's ability, uh, Kit's ability to like say a word without really even saying it because he's so caught up in the emotions like him the way he says yeah there the way he when in the coming out scene the way he says like he's my boyfriend charlie's my boyfriend like he barely even enunciates it because he's just like you can feel like he's so caught up in that emotion and it's just so beautifully acted here it is the award-winning moment it still hits me in the feels I love, I've never actually noticed that. It's Nick's hand that scoops under Charlie's, like he's the one that initiates that moment. And I love that. Oh my God, the neck grab. Oh, this is just so beautiful. I'd love to know how that scene would have played out if they hadn't have been interrupted by like Harry and that. That would have been really, like, really cool to know. Oh, this moment. Hey, you okay? It's okay. Oh, Charlie. It's gonna be okay. Oh, it still really gets me. Beautiful young man. You must protect him at all costs. Stand tall and show them all. It seems like a little bit... Maybe mine's a bit too zoomed in. That isn't how it happened, Charlie. Hi. Stop freaking out. Fine, one sec. Hi. Hi. That's got to be one of the best moments in the whole show. And I know I said that the last episode is definitely my favorite because of those two scenes, but that moment, like that reveal is just mm, beautiful. How you all survived, the like the kiss being the end of the comic book, the, the end of the first book, I will never know. Because even like, I mean, when I ordered the books last year and obviously the popularity of the, of the books like, went through the roof because of the show and I ordered the first book, I didn't get the second, third and fourth for like a couple of weeks. And even then I was like, I know what happens and I'm still dying. <laughs> So, oh, it's such a good ending. It's, that is such a beautifully done episode, as are all eight episodes. I think what I loved about this show and the difference with a lot of LGBT shows is like for a lot of the time, like if, if this had been written by a lot of other writers, we'd have only gotten that they've kissed and they get together towards the end of the season. And I love that in Heartstopper, you get it like right at the beginning. I remember when I watched it the first time and I was like, oh, like we've already ha kind of had that resolution moment. And obviously there's still so much more story to come, but I just, I, I love that they did that in this show and it, it happened so early on. It's just brilliant. I love that episode so much, so much. Oh, I could literally sit here for the rest of the evening and film the rest of these reactions happily. Like, I love the, I You can't just watch the show one episode at a time. You have to, like, continue watching it because it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. But right, that is it for today's video, folks. If you would like to see the completely unedited version of this reaction, as I said at the beginning, you're only going to find them over on Patreon and the links for that are in the description below. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. And until next time and until next week when we jump into episode four, I will catch you in a few.